Thanks for watching The Full Color Life. I'm Hannah Lynn, and this is my guest. Joseph Chopin. He's here to talk about a brand new movie that he is producing, he's written, and you're excited about this. I am, I'm very excited about it. I am a film producer um, by just the love of the craft. I um, wanted to be a film producer since I was a kid. I was around five years old. Uh, my favorite movie is Free Willy, so <laughs> nice. I love that movie. It it's, always makes me cry. Did you cry during the first yeah, time? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm like yeah. Free Willy was, uh, <laughs> it's, you know, it made you cry because he loved something, you know, yeah. and he didn't have love in his life. His parents were gone. He was kind of adopted. He, had been, he was just moving around all these places, but this whale brought him out. Anyways, that's how I kind of feel about film. I found this love for film uh, in every single thing that I do, film has been there. This vision of creating an awesome movie yeah. uh, has always lived with me. So um, I started writing my movie series, uh, a 10 part movie series called the 99 Years Movie Series, around 15 years old. Oh yeah, okay. And um, it's uh, 10 feature length movie scripts. Um, uh, epic love story about these two children who fall in love and but their love is forbidden to the universe so you have to they have to strive to fight to be in love with each other and it's hard to now this is fiction right this is fiction yeah, yeah. science fiction okay to the T okay it's it, it is the science of science fiction. That's, okay. <laughs> That's fun. So. Did you like to read comic books growing up? Did you ever do that? Garfield. Okay. Captain Underpants. <laughs> and um, the Bernstein Bears. So those are the only ones. Okay. Those are the only ones. Yeah. Okay. I just wondered because if you like fiction, yeah. you know, yeah. and especially sci-fi. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and I've always wanted. I always wanted to be a scientist too when I was a kid. So something about. Uh, diagnosing film and you know making it um, greater than what it is I've always wanted to do something like that I never got that yes and part of the reason was because I think because I was I'm a new director and I needed a, some sort of key to get into the door and you know what Harold Washington could be it so I kind of went out of the, the mold of science fiction and started on a biopic. Yeah. yeah. I think there's something moving about telling a story that already moved history. Yeah. yeah. And I think that his story, even just reading a little bit about him, moved yeah. me. You know, just the fact that he wasn't even wanting to be a mayor. Yeah. And he ended up being the first African American mayor in Chicago. That's right. That's right. I think it's just remarkable. That's right. Film mm -hmm. has always been a big part of me. Mm -hmm. uh, artistry, drawing, uh, creating and write, creative writing. Yeah. Um, I couldn't, that's all I do every day. Every day? Every day. What's like a normal day for you then? I'll eat breakfast. <laughs> It's um, weird to think about, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll eat breakfast, um, and then I and then I start to email. I think that's the first thing I'll do. I'll check my email and then okay. see who who is contacting me, and then I'll begin to edit film. Uh, anything that I have uh, that that's going on for the day, I'll edit, and then the rest of my day is writing, creative writing. So what kind? Of, what film are you editing? Um, films that I work on, like we just did a piece for the American Respiratory Health Association. Uh, they just did the Hustle Up the Hancock, and we shot, Yes, that's right. Yeah, I shot the a video for, um, for their uh, the, uh, recap video. I just read about that. That's yeah. like, how many floors? 97? 96. And the 96. kid who won, he ran up the stairs in five minutes and 36 seconds, 37 seconds. I just, I can't. And yeah. I think there's like an 83-year-old yeah. who went up there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that this was going to be the last movie, but I wanted to, I think I have like three more that I'm going to, so I, maybe in the next five years I'll have a library of 20 films that I'd like to make over the course of my life. Oh, wow. But I have not made I, any. I have yet. a feeling that it's going to be more than 20. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I have a feeling. 75, 100, <laughs> maybe 1,000 actually by the end. You only wrote this, this was, only took you a year? Eight months, yep. Yeah. Eight months. Okay, excuse me. Eight that. months. <laughs> <laughs> About a year. It was three, three or four months of research before I started to write because I had to go to all of the people who knew Harold and I interviewed them on camera, got their stories. Um, tried to understand them and I used those stories that they told me to, to write it. Wow, okay. Yeah, because there's little stories like what was the, the, the mayor that was opposing him, the mayor candidate that was opposing him, his tagline was like controversial. Yeah. Uh, I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah. 
vote Bernie after before, before it's too late. Before it's yeah. too late. Before, yeah. before it's too late. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? Like what is that? That's insane. Yeah. That, Can you believe that? That was only in the 80s. Yeah. It, it was a heavy competition with those people, and the more I understand them, the more I understand they would do anything to, to make sure to that make an sure. African American was not a anything. mayor. Some of the things that they did are not on camera that we have. A, a footage, evidence? Evidence? Oh my goodness. Terrible things that they do. I just think that's so sad. Yeah. But you know, it's a good thing to remember. Yeah. Um, you know, Harold Washington was a great mayor for the city of Chicago. He was really loved by the people here in the city. And um, they, there's something that resonates with people when you say Harold Washington. It's an emotion that kind of starts to get in people when you mention his name. Uh, people start to cry and they remember the times that he uh, fought and sacrificed his life for the city and yeah. um, it's made me, a, I think writing it has made me a better person. There's a, there's a college, there's yeah. a library here mm -hmm. in Chicago. Yep. What stuck out to you the most about his life or how did you become interested in his life enough to want to do a movie about him? Well, it was... See, I didn't know who he was, and I did right. know about the college and the library, and there's several statues. And there's like a stop, right, yeah. on the red or yeah. brown line? Yeah, here at Washington <laughs> Library stop. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know too much about him. It was after the idea was presented to me, I yeah. went to and got inside of an Uber, and I asked my Uber driver, who's an older black guy, and yeah. I said, well, what do you, what, what do you know about Harold Washington? And he started to cry. And I was really? like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, why is he getting so emotional? And then when I realized how, what, when he was speaking about Harold and how Harold, what Harold did for him, he remembered a time where people ba banded together to fight and to make a real change in the city. Mm -hmm. And I knew right at that moment that I had something special. I realized, wait, this is not just a story. This is like, the city of Chicago. Yeah, it you know. changed the city yeah. of Chicago. City. And it wasn't even that long ago. I mean, it was uh, 1983, right? Yeah, when he became mayor. Yes. You know, and he, but he was fighting from the much beginning. back way back in the 30s and 40s. You know, he was an older guy when he um, when he uh, passed. Yeah, he was born in 1922. 1922. Yeah. Okay. So in uh, he was in politics in the 40s. You know, fighting his young. Uh, political genius mm -hmm. um, at Roosevelt University when he was in college, making change for students, um, creating opportunities for people of color, um, uh, writing, writing uh, freshman year of college. Wow, okay, so what did he do like right off the bat? You said freshman year of well, college. Well, one thing he did, there was a, a restaurant here in the city of Chicago, right around Roosevelt University, called Anne's Rendezvous. Okay. And that was a segregated restaurant. Harold sat inside that restaurant with his friends, and they did not serve Harold. And he took, he was upset because he ordered some beers with his friends. And the uh, bartenders would refuse to serve him. They even called the police on them. And Harold had his bag of books. He looked up the rules and the laws for the city of Chicago and yeah. that they could be served. And that was that's how he started. He helped these That it was illegal for this right. restaurant not to serve him. Right. And he got uh, Ron, uh, Anne's rendezvous desegregated uh, right out of college. What? Yeah, it was amazing. So was he already like a lawyer at that time? Because I know he went to school no, to be was, a lawyer. No, he was he was a young political student at that time, okay. going into politics, law school and politics. Okay. Uh, and but he did at that time he served in, in World War II, so uh, he was a uh, political and he was a true American. You know, he yeah. really dedicated his life to American politics, the American dream. He had everything in his line, in the line of his life, the pathway in his life to um, take on the American dream, and he did. He didn't actually, he was only alive for five years after yeah. becoming a mayor. Yep, yep. He uh, had so much time to create the change that he wanted to change, that he wanted to make on paper. Yeah. And he didn't fully get a chance to live out his vision here. Um, he had a lot of plans for the city of Chicago and the people here, and he didn't 
fully see them through and that's why I feel like this movie could be it um, for his uh, legacy. Yeah. Um, Harold wanted to see in that short time, that five years that he was the mayor, he wanted to see the pie, the political, the financial, the uh, school, whatever you want to say, the, the educational pie, he wanted to see it cut fairly for all the citizens of the city so that we can be that city that strives and works together. We have this, um, this inward heartfelt mission to work together as a people. Harold ignited that in us more than any other mayor in the city's in this country's history. And so with the greatest good what we'd like to do is is take this Hold on, oh. the greatest good is the yes. title of the movie, yes. right? Yes, the greatest okay. good. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's unpack that. Why yeah. did you decide to title it The Greatest Good? Because Harold um, in his inauguration, he said the first words he said he said when you all gave me this opportunity to work this job, yeah. you told me to do the greatest good. Hmm. And so I was, originally we were gonna call it Harold. Right. You know, <laughs> something like that. But when I heard him say that, I said, that's a good title, you know. Yeah. How can we do the greatest good for our city? If Harold did the, Harold dedicated his life to politics, he did the greatest good for us when he was alive and he was selfless. Mm -hmm. How can we use this movie as a tool to do the same. Wow, okay, so what you want people to do is to take out what can they do? What part can they play right. in helping others? Hate can't win, you know, at the end of the day. It's okay. at, you know, yeah. it's, you, you have, when you're doing something for the greatest good, for the greater good, and you have opposition, you have to stay on that course because people will say and do things and accuse and make accusations. This film is not just for young people, it's for all people yeah. because we all have challenges mm -hmm. and obstacles in life mm -hmm. where we're trying to accomplish something and we all have that one person that or group of people, whoever, that may try to keep us back but um, in the end when you're doing something because you know it's the right thing to do, you can win. So. That's, that's what that. the message I'm trying to And I like how you shared too that he was a mayor for all people. How horrible that yeah. must have been to oh, be yeah. an African American and, and try. And then even when he got elected, everyone put walls up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was <laughs> <called> council wars. <laughs> what a, yeah, what a war, what a battle that he had to go through. I can't even imagine. Yeah. And it's a real thing still to, to this day. And that's yeah. why I think it's awesome that you're telling the story. Yeah, yeah, thank you. The proceeds that from this movie will go back to fixing our roads in the underserved communities, um, helping uh, kids that are underprivileged uh, be a part of better programs, um, and then of course giving uh, the uh, percentage of the proceeds back to programs that are already successful in their communities. I think that uh, the African American community is um, you know, Harold served the African American community. Oh, that, yeah. that was his main focus. And so a large percentage of the problems still lie in the African American community. So we want to target that community first. Harold was the mayor for all people, but he he had a responsibility to African American people because he was African American and he, he grew up in that community so he wanted to see his people be able to sit at the table with the rest of the city too. Okay, so what do you want people to know about The Greatest Good right now? Where's the process? Obviously you've got the manuscript right here in your hand. Yeah. What's the next step? Well, uh, we have the script and we have some great partners. Um, we're working with um, uh, a large portion of the city, some of the people that we have uh, on board with us, of course, um, you know, we got signatures yeah, right here. Signatures and names that were very important to this city, politicians, people that were huge political uh, power forces here. Yeah. Now, this movie script is completely different than the documentary. This we'd like to see as a major motion picture, hopefully starring Denzel Washington. Oh Harold. my gosh, that's great. <laughs> you know, something big and something that's that the, gonna happen. Yeah, some, something that the world can see and, and know that um, this man was more than just a a politician, but he was a, a knight, a hero for the city. Um, so if the viewers 
your your audience can go to GoFundMe.com slash The Greatest Good Movie. Okay. You'll see all of the information there. And then also we have a website, TheGreatestGoodMovie.com. And that's uh That's you guys. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks so much for joining me today on yeah. The Full Color Life. And yeah. good luck to you on this. Yeah. I'm excited. It's better not to talk at all.